The stress of having a baby can be tough, especially for many parents who are worried about the added cost of a little one. But one way some expecting moms are trying to make a little extra cash is causing quite a stir. That's like any other con. Cons are no good and it never results in anything positive. A con is a con. A quick search on Craigslist in several cities and you can find plenty of expecting moms hoping to cash in on their condition by selling positive pregnancy tests to anyone who is willing to pay up. I thought it was ridiculous. Some say its purpose is to prank. Others insist they don't care what it's used for and that's where things can get messy. For example, if uh, a married man was having an affair and uh, he tried to break it off with the girl and she became upset and uh, decided to, you know, present this fake pregnancy test and demand money or otherwise she'd tell the, the, uh, the spouse, I think that would be you know, a level of blackmail out of that form. Some other examples being passed around the internet include tricking a man into marrying them or at the very least trying to keep a partner in a relationship he no longer wants any part of. Whatever the reason, even if it is used just to joke, many say it's hitting below the belt. I still don't think it's right. That's playing with people's emotions. That's real life situation. You don't mess with stuff like that. An Overland Park ad read, this is becoming very popular. I am eight weeks pregnant selling positive pregnancy tests. If you want to prank someone or even trap a man into marriage, please feel free to email or text Amber. We sent a text to the phone number and the receiver wrote back and insisted she's never posted anything on Craigslist. Soon after, the ad was removed. If it's a prank, it would be hysterical, but it can be, uh, it can be really cold-hearted and mean that I wouldn't want to be a part of. I wouldn't be on the receiving side I'm of that. Pregnant. It's a phrase that can change your life in a second, and women all around the country are telling men that very phrase, but the problem is it's a lie. The story's exploding online, saying women are lying, showing someone else's positive pregnancy test they bought online to trick a man into marrying her. Divorce attorney Miles Mason says that's fraud. In my opinion, that type of evidence of a false pregnancy test to induce to marry should, should result in an annulment. A different trick women are using the positive pregnancy test for is to extort money out of men by making them think they're financially responsible for a baby. At that point, I would say take a deep breath, uh, don't react one way or the other, and say, well, uh, that's interesting. Genetics experts like Steve Kahn say if you hear that news, the first thing you should do is buy a high quality pregnancy test for that woman or bring her to a DNA testing center where they can find out for sure if she is pregnant. That leaves out the internet, it leaves out concerns over falsified urine, uh, substituted urine. Khan disagrees and thinks they should make it illegal because people are committing crimes with the tests. The sale of it, I think, sure, should come right off Craigslist or eBay or wherever they're being sold. I mean, they, they regulate other things. 